are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, I truly do believe that the young generation of voters, not the brightest, because these people really do not understand the issues. And I do believe that as people get older, they actually get more conservative. I mean, I remember when I was uh, 20 years old, I wasn't wasn't political. But as I've gotten older, yeah, I've definitely gotten more conservative. OK. Now, Coco Goff did a video on her. I believe uh, last year, maybe earlier this year where she actually uh, won the U.S. Open. She's a tennis player. And then she was actually kneeling down and she was praying. But the woke media, namely, I believe ESPN, said that she was just taking it all in. Coco Goff is a self-avowed Christian. However, guys, Coco Goff is also woke. Now, I'm wondering myself, how can you actually proclaim yourself to be a Christian and also be extremely woke on the left. I just found out guys that um, in 2020 at age 16, she actually gave a speech at a black lives matter, I guess, March or whatever. Yeah. Communists, communism and Christianity don't go hand in hand. Now Coco Goff is from the state of Florida and actually a whole bunch of uh, tennis players from around the world, they actually live in Florida. Coco Goff is now coming out and she is slamming the state of Florida. And she she now has definitely gotten extremely political. And of course, this is an election year. Folks. On camera now. She is urging the young people to go out and vote. However. You know who she actually wants them to vote for, because she was actually criticizing, you know, DeSantis and the Republicans in Florida. Why? Because they were, quote unquote, banning books. Now, we know that the book ban thing is a myth. They're just keeping out these porno books out of schools. You see, guys, something's telling me that Coco Goff truly doesn't know that. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Remember, live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Look at this, guys. Women's tennis star Coco Goff takes aim at Ron DeSantis, urges young voters to go out and vote lib, a.k.a. vote for Biden. Now, Biden is actually losing the young vote. More and more young people are actually going towards Trump. But we do know, man, when it comes to being the wokest of the wokest, still the younger generation is going to be the most woke. And Coco Goff being only 20. Yeah, she's not a, not very informed about things in, in her own state. Look here. It says U.S. Open champion and Florida native Coco Goff took some not so veiled shots at her home state on the eve of her appearance at the French Open, criticizing Governor Ron DeSantis in the pro- process. The 20 year old sensation was responding to a question from the Associated Press about the sun- Sunshine State when she got political. Yeah, namely talking about the um, the books like Flamer and all these other things that uh, children should not be reading because they're talking about like gay sets and how to do like vow acts with kids. Is that appropriate in any school? I don't think so. But I don't think she actually knows that. Let's go ahead and listen in to this, guys. Obviously, you don't spend much time at home these days, but I mean, from looking at outside, people just say Florida is such a crazy state. What does yeah. it feel like to be a Floridian <laughs> in these days? It is a crazy time to be a Floridian, especially uh, a black one at that. But I will say, um, you know, I will say I, I. It's a trying time to be black in Florida. Wow. Okay. 
I think for most people, and especially in South Florida, um, we aren't happy with the, you know, the current state of our government in Florida, especially everything with the, the books and just the, the way our office operates. Um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to the youth and in the community being outspoken, but also being outspoken, but standing on business and going to the polls and voting. So I encourage everyone to vote um, and use your voice, regardless of who you vote for. But I will say there's no point in complaining in the political climate of the world if you don't exercise your right to vote. That's just how I was raised personally. Um, but being in Florida, I mean, every day by day, I will say it's not something I think about often, but it is something that I am aware of. And hopefully, you know, I can encourage people to vote, especially um, people in the youth, because I feel like sometimes in my generation, people think their vote doesn't count. Um, but I think it's important that everyone exercise their right to vote. Uh, I know other countries is mandatory, the U.S. is not. So uh, I think we should just all just use our voices and use the power that we have. Wow. Coco Golf is definitely not informed. Now, I believe that every U.S. citizen should have the right to vote, but I don't think everyone should be voting. Obviously, she doesn't really know the issues because if she truly knew what was in those books that are not allowed in schools, she would definitely change her mind. In Florida, parents have parental rights. Remember the uh, parental rights and education bill that became law? The left kept saying that um, that Ron DeSantis was being a, uh, a tyrant. Why? Because he was giving the parents the right to their kids' education. They were lying about the uh, don't say gay. They had nothing to do with being gay. The left was trying to sexualize children. Does Coco Goff even know that? I mean, she's part of that very, very young generation, man. And maybe she actually watches um, MSNBC, CNN, something like that. But the fact is, man, they were trying to groom those kids. And in Florida, Ron Sanchez said, no, nah, we're not going to do that. And we know that Biden is pretty woke, man. I mean, you're a tennis player and you're definitely um, telling people to go out there and vote to the left. Well, on the left, man, they're actually trying to get um, men and women's sports. I mean, you are a you're a champion. You want a grand slam. Just imagine, man, if you actually had to go out there and face off against a male identifying as a female, you would get destroyed. You would get crushed. Coco Golf, man, you got to be better than this, man. You got to be better than this. I mean, first off, man, stay out of politics, man, because you don't know the issues. You don't know any of the issues. Now. Coco Golf, hopefully she actually does some research here. And learns the issues. But I don't know, man. I don't know. She seemed to be indoctrinated into that BLM stuff at a young age. 16 years old, man. At a BLM communist rally. Man. Insane, man. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.